I want to tell you how I actually work with the fool's cap method in, in the real world here. And um, I will make a one page um, fool's cap exactly like this, where I answer all the questions, genre, hero, narrative device, et cetera, et cetera. But beyond that, I'll have a file for each one of these things. And the file might be 30 pages long. And like if I'll have a file for genre, a file for inciting incident, a file for setting, a file for hero and villain. And I'll really get into the weeds on it, you know, because a lot of times it's hard to know who your hero is or who the villain is. Is the villain inside the hero's head? Is the villain some societal force like racism or homophobia or something like that? So I will really, like I say, get into depth in a, in a file that might go page after page after page. But on the actual full scap page, I can bring it down to just one line, genre, western, genre, detective story, that kind of thing. But then I'll get into the full, real weeds of the thing. For instance, in the inciting incident, one of the principles that we know of the inciting incident is that the climax is embedded within the inciting incident. So I'll get into great depth of, the, of that as I'm writing out this file. For instance, in the movie Taken, when the phone call comes into Liam Neeson and he says to the bad guys, I have a special set of skills that are gonna be really bad for you and I'm coming after you, we know embedded into that is the climax, which is Liam Neeson catches up the bad guys and wipes them out. But I'll get into that in great detail in, in this, in a file. At the same time, in the inciting incident, we also know it's the moment where the hero acquires his intention. So I'll ask myself, I, I, I have a scene in my mind that I think may be my inciting incident. So I'll now get into that scene in the file and I'll ask myself, does the hero really acquire his or her intention in here? And if so, what is that intention? And so on and so forth. So I'll get into, into the real nitty gritty of all of these things. The all is lost moment takes, can take page after page because you have to then come up with the answer to the all is lost moment. How does the hero rise to his or her, to the occasion to solve the problem? Anyway, that's how I work with it. I have a file for each one of these things and I go into great detail in that file.